The history of the city palace is linked to the kingdom of Mewar, which reached its heights near the area of Nanda. The founder of the state was Guhil, who established the supremacy of the Maharana in 568 AD. Subsequently, his successor Maharana Uday Singh inherited the Mewar kingdom at Chittor in 1537. But the threat of losing control of the kingdom to the Mughals forced him to move the capital to an area near Lake Pichola, surrounded by forests, lakes and the mighty Aravali hill. The new city of Udapur was protected from invaders and on the advice of a Bhuja built a palace, the first structure to be built here was the Rai. Angad, from where the construction of the complex was taken up with full enthusiasm and was finally completed in the year 1559. However, several changes were made to the then existing structure, which took place over a period of 400 years. Rulers like Uday Singh I added some structures here consisting of 11 small separate palaces. After the death of the Maharaja, his son Maharana Pratap succeeded him but was unfortunately defeated by Akbar in the Battle of Haldighati. Udapur was overtaken by the Mughals but was returned to Maharana Pratap's son after Akbar's death. Increasing crimes by the Marathas forced Maharana Bhim Singh to make a treaty with the British, accepting their protection. The palace was in control until Indian independence in 1947 and the Mewar Kingdom was merged into Democratic India in 1949. The main fa AD of the city palace is quite impressive with a length of about 244 meters and a width of 30.4 meters. A distinctive feature of this palace is that it is homogeneous in design and construction of several structures. Many changes were made to it over time. Built of granite and marble, the interiors of the palace are decorated with intricate mirrors, marble work, murals, wall painting, silver work and stained glass, the elegant balcony, tall tower and cupola structure of the complex also add to the beauty of the city palace. An attractive view of the city can be seen from the terrace of the palace. From the inside, the city palace is a labyrinth of long corridors designed to avoid surprise attacks by enemies. The entrance to the city palace complex is the Elephant Gate, known as the Elephant Pole. There is a beautiful Jagdish temple at the entrance of the magnificent palace. This is followed by the Bari, or of the big gate which leads to the courtyard which in turn leads to the Tripoli or Trikwa. The city palace has many luxurious apartments commanding a full view of the city. The Rajangan, which means royal courtyard, is the oldest part of the complex and was built by Maharana Udasing. The palaces have now been converted into museum. The city palace consists of 11 wonderful palaces and most of these have now been converted into galleries. The main entrance to the palace is through Barapol which welcomes you to the first courtyard. This is the place where Maharanas were paid with gold and silver and the ornaments were distributed among the poor. Marble arches have also been constructed here and are called Turan Paul. Amavilas is an elevated garden with a wonderful terrace garden replete with fountains, minarets, terraces and a square marble tower. Built on the highest level of the palace, this was where the king used to spend time during leisure. Amavilas also gives way to Badi Mahal. Badi Mahal is also known as Garden Palace. This building is made of natural rock which is 27 meters high. A swimming pool is also located here which was used during the celebration of Holi. A hall here houses miniatures of the 18th and 19th centuries. Images of Vishnu from Jag Mandir and Jagdish Mandir. Yes, you all must know that many royal weddings have been organized in the city palace. All these weddings are held in the Zanana Mahal of the city palace. This palace is a major part of the Udapur city palace. The palace was built in the 1600s and has been the site of countless royal weddings ever since. The Zanana Mahal has seating arrangements for 500 guests. At night, the Zanana Mahal glows with candlelight. Many billionaires of the country book Zanana Mahal for royal wedding October to March is a good time to visit the city palace. Most of the tourists give priority to winter days to come here. After reaching Udapur, you can visit the city palace from 9 am to 5 pm. It is good that you come here only in the morning and evening, because you will get more crowd here in the afternoon. Whereas in the morning and evening you will be able to roam around the whole city palace peacefully. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Thank you for watching the episode like comment share and subscribe the channel